Hi, I'm Pepper Corey, and I'm here for Studio E Fabrics talking about peppered cottons. We've talked about washing them and we've talked about what they are, but this time I'm going to give you a brief note on how to use them. And one of the things I'd like to emphasize is please don't just set your iron over on linen, fill it with water, and think that heavily steaming your patchwork is going to make it lie flat. Doesn't work. Actually, when you're working with peppered cottons and most regular quilting cottons, don't use steam in your iron. Instead, use a dry iron and set it somewhere on the wool setting, or most irons at somewhere at the mark four or five, because you can have your iron too hot. And if your iron's too hot, it will stretch the fabric in and of itself. But especially when you work with yarn dyed fabrics, what are yarn dyed fabrics? Well, shot cottons are certainly part of the yarn dyed family. It simply means that the threads, before they're even warped on the loom, go through all the dyeing processes. Nothing happens to that fabric after it's woven. It all happens ahead of time. The wonderful thing about yarn dyes is they're absolutely the same on the front and on the back. This check is a yarn dye. So is this charcoal, whereas this is a print. It came into the factory as either a white or slightly off-white plain piece of fabric and it was printed on one side and it obviously looks different on the back. Yarn dyes are the same front and back. Yarn dyes have a special soft character and if you put too hot an iron on them you know what they'll do? They like to curl up like this and it makes it really difficult to piece accurate patchwork if your fabric is starting to curl. So, when you're working with yarn dyes of any type, whether it's peppered cottons or these peppered uh, checks or whatever, please just dial back your iron to the wool setting and no steam. And it will be just fine. That's all we need. 